Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Thank you for always stopping by. In today's video, I want to talk about three sacrifices you can make to escape poverty in your life. What I mean by sacrifices, the things, the three things you should do to get rid of poverty in your life, to live well. When you live well, you'll be able to pay your bills without your next door neighbor knowing. You'll be able to do everything you want without begging anybody. You'll be able to take care of yourself and your immediate family without begging every, anybody. You'll be a giver, not a beggar. That is the essence of eradicating poverty in your life. You must not have all millions of Naira mansions before you know that you're, you're out of poverty. No. When you're comfort or comfortable, it means you're able to pay your bills. You don't need to beg. You don't need to uh, create some, a fundraising for you to do anything. What people do now, when they have uh, occasions, they will open a WhatsApp group and start begging. I call it indirect begging. If you cannot foot your uh, your ceremony, don't bother putting it. You should be able to put your ceremony on your own without creating a WhatsApp group to beg people. So I want to share with us three things you should do to eradicate poverty in your life. Three simple things most of all don't know. Number one of it is sacrifice. The sacrifice I'm talking about is not human sacrifice, is not animal sacrifice, is not blood sacrifice. You don't need to sacrifice anything other than what God has given to you, which is your brain. You have to sacrifice your brain because all of us have brain. We are all human. God gave us brain to use it to make money. What are you using with your brain? What are you doing with your brain? Are you actually using your brain rightly? Are you using it to, to do the wrong thing? Use your brain rightly and watch God bless you. Under that sacrifice, there is time. You have to sacrifice your time if you want to make money in this life. You don't sit at home and expect manna to fall from heaven. Use your time wisely. As you're in the house, some of us are just crossing our legs at home, pressing our phone, gossiping all, you are all over the social media, commenting, laughing, and all that. Why some people are using the same data to make money? What are you using your time and your data to do? That should be your question. So many people are into online business, and you are at home using your own data to gossip. Think about this. Okay, under that sacrifice, there are a lot of things I categorize or place under that sacrifice. Then under that sacrifice, meet people. You have to sacrifice your time, dress up, go out and meet people. Some of us cannot uh, you know, stand people. They cannot meet people. They don't want to meet people. They don't want to share people's knowledge with them. They don't want people to know that they don't have anything upstairs. Meet people. There are people that can train you. There are people that can impart wisdom on you. Learn a skill is still under that sacrifice. Learn a skill, things are hard. Learn a skill, from that skill you can make, uh, make ends meet. Some of us don't have uh, any, any skill, you didn't go to school, you didn't learn any handwork, you didn't learn any trade. Tell me how God will bless you. If somebody wants to bless you or if God wants to bless you, God will bless you from the works of your hands. I can call you, there are most of, many people on my channel, I buy most of the things I use from them. When they advertise on their status, I will tell them I need this. I'll buy from them. God is blessing them through the words of their hands. So if you're idle, for you, God to bless you, it will take time. Okay? That is number one, sacrifice. Number two is leaving your comfort zone. Some of us are very comfortable where we are. We don't want to make more money. We don't want to struggle. You're, you're comfortable begging your siblings to give you money. And when they don't give you, you come and start looking for solution. What will I do for my siblings to be dashing me money every month? Who does that? Walk. Leave that comfort zone. Move out and walk. You earn your own money. You don't need to beg anybody. Most of our brothers and sisters abroad, if I tell you most of the work, or if they tell us the most of the work they do to make this money that they dash you, you will cry. You will not even be able to do the work. Some of them are washing plates. Some of them are taking care of old people. Some of them are mortuary attenders. But you are there pressing your phone, doing nothing, and when they refuse to give you money, you start looking for jars to buy. Start looking for charm to buy so that you'll be collecting their money trickishly. And when you come to me, I tell you, I don't sell that. You start abusing me. 
please work. Work and make your own money. Poverty is not something you should dwell with. When you make your own money, you'll be comfortable. Nobody will query you what to do with your money. That is why some of you, when you ask your husband for money, they will not give you because the one they gave you, they didn't see anything you make out of it. Okay? So leave that comfort zone of yours and walk. Ch change your direction and walk. Some of us, our husbands are rich. You prefer to sit at home in the money you write list and give a man. If he doesn't give you the amount of money you want, you hold his shirts. I don't want that in 2023. Let all of us come together and achieve a lot of things for ourselves. That is why you see some families, when they lose their husband, they will become poor overnight because they don't even know what the husband, they cannot continue with the husband business because they, are, they don't have any idea. They prefer to sit at home and be answering Munyoga or God's wife. Change that mindset if you want to run away from poverty. Even if your husband is a mortal millionaire, Tell him to open a business for you, no matter how small it is, it is going to help you. No matter how little it is, making your own money, there is joy in making your own money. You don't need to depend on your auntie or your uncle or your husband or your father to give you money before you eat, before you pay your bills. Okay, this is number two. Then number three, the last but not the least, is research. Most of us don't research. Most of us have Android phones, but we don't make use of it. To go to Google and check whatever you want to check is there, it's free. Once you have your data, use those things and research. There are so many online businesses that can change your life, that can make you to have money. But most of us are not interested. Some of us are not ready to market those products. And once you start marketing them, you will see how you are going to leave poverty for your, from your generation. You are going to be that person that will lift that uh, yoke of poverty out of your family. I know of somebody that joined one networking business. Now, I don't think if you count the first 10 people in the world in that company, she's among. She's very, very, this is a woman. She is very, very rich. When opportunity comes, learn to grab it. Learn to grab it. Research. Use your phone. Research. Check the business. The genuine business is not the scam, scamming one. Not the, uh, the ones you bring 1,000 naira, they will give you 2,000 in one hour. No. Those ones are Ponzi. They are scamming. They are scamming schemes. Okay, do not invest your money there. There are so many businesses online that can fetch you good money that most of us don't know. Most of us know, but... Because we are not, we don't want to do anything, we prefer to sit at home. That is why you've not really researched to know if that business is new or not. And that is why when somebody opens a business from, uh, for you within a month, the business will crumble because you did not, you did not research about that particular business you want to venture into. You will see somebody that is selling hair, you will not want to know where, how they, they will not want to go and learn about the hair to know the types of hair, how you can get original hair, how you can import original hair because you have somebody that can give you millions of naira to invest. Once you invest, you start, you will see the business will crumble because when you sell fake hair to somebody, the person will not patronize you, rather the person will make trouble with you. So do these three things I just mentioned, sacrifice, leaving your comfort zone and research and watch how your story will change for good. Poverty will run away from you. This is very simple but very, very powerful. I've come to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. Please share this video so that people will learn so that in 2023 we all stand firm together and eradicate poverty from our society. Thank you once again and see you in my next one. Bye-bye.